130 divided by 200 or 2 2 equals 5000 minus 3250. So let us make sure we understand the notation so that there is no confusion. I mean, I don't want you to then come and say what is all this R11, R21 business. So let us make sure. So here we go. Okay. This tells you which force. This tells you which location. So R11 means at the left edge due to the force the due to the first force. R12 means at the left edge due to the second force. R22 means right edge second force. 1 equal to left, 2 equal to right. Okay. If you don't like 1, 1, 2, 1, you can also put L1, R1 if you like. Okay. So now we can compute the moment. So let us say I am interested with the moment. So I want to find moment at x equal to 35. So what will it be? Let's make sure we get it. So this will be since for the if I was looking at the first one, 35 uh, 35 is less than 40, which implies m1 equals R11 times 35 which is 1600 times 35 which is how much? Uh, 16 fives are 80 so 16 threes are 48, 48 plus 8 56. So 56 1 2 3 Newton millimeters. How about from here M2 will be Again, 35 is less than 70. So, this will be R12 times 35, which is 3250 times 35, which is, let's make sure we know how to calculate it. So, I'm going to put it up here. Equal to 3250 times 35. 113,750. So there must be an extra zero, I think. 1600 times 35. So equal to. Yeah, 56,000. So 113,000. 113,000 from this, 56,000 from that. So total M equals 1.5. So let's go back up here. So M equals M1 plus M2, which is 56,000 plus 113,750. which is 7509 Newton millimeters. Was that hard? It's not very hard, right? So let us look at a second case just to make sure we know how to do this. What if I wanted to find at uh, 50 mm? Now what happens is I look at this and I know that 50 is greater than 40. So M1 will be or 21 times 200 minus 50, which is 1600 times 150, and then M2 will be 50 is less than 70. So M2 will be or 1 2 times 50 
which is 3250 times 50. So total M will be M1 plus F2 which turns out to be so let us make sure we know how to calculate that that turns out to be sixteen hundred times one fifty plus fifty times thirty two fifty four hundred two thousand five hundred newton millimeters see what I mean So let me blow it up a little bit so that you can see that a little bit better. There. M equal to M1 plus M2 it is 42, 402,350. Okay. 402,500. So let's just make sure we got the method. So our original problem let me zoom back a little bit so that it is easy for you to see many things at the same time yeah there you go there so we had multiple forces that's this guy can you see that guy multiple forces okay we had um, you know force 2 kN here, 5 kN here, 40 mm, 70 mm. So we first broke it down into individuals. Okay, just F1 acting alone, F2 acting alone. We pretended those were the only two things. We computed the corresponding reactions at the two sides, and then we found the moments corresponding to each of them, and we add the moments. <coughs> By the way, you have to compute the moments for each reaction force independently. Okay, don't do the reaction forces first and then do the moments. <coughs> you have to compute this side, that side separate. So I want you to understand that. Don't mix them till the very end. So all this is one piece. All this is one other piece. Okay, so don't mix them. Do this problem pretending this is the only force all the way until you find the moment. Do this problem pretending that's the only force all the way until you find the moments. Now you can add up the moments. Okay, this is to do multiple forces. Got this idea, right? And it's very, very easy. There is nothing to it. You can, in fact, write a very simple. Um, you can write a very simple uh, Excel spreadsheet for this. I'm going to show you how to do that so that it will make your life very easy. So I'm going to blow this up a little bit so that you can see this Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, there you go. So our idea is to write a So what we are going to do is for each force we are going to compute a whole bunch of things, right? So we are going to say, okay, uh, force here F1, F2, F3 like that. So this is F1, F2, F3 dot dot dot. Okay, you can fill up whatever you like. And then here location. In our case, uh, let's see, how do I want it? Not this way. Apologies. F1 um, so let me make sure I know how to do this okay so let me list it here so let me call this location force 